The Lives of the Saints by Father Alban Butler, August 14th, Blessed Antonio Primaldi and Companions Martyrs. In the year 1480, the Turks of Mohammed II captured and sacked the city of Otranto in southern Italy and put most of its inhabitants to the sword. The church considers some of the victims as martyrs, among them Blessed Antonio Primaldi or Grimaldi and his 800 companions. Antonio was an elderly craftsman, well known in the city for his skill at work and the seriousness of his Christian life. The Turks rounded up all the men who had escaped the first massacre, ransacked their houses, and took their wives prisoner. Antony and his companions were taken to a nearby valley. There, they were offered their freedom and that of their wives, as well as the restitution of their property, on condition that they would apostatize and convert to Islam. Antonio, speaking on behalf of the others, replied that they all confessed with one voice that there was only one God, that Jesus Christ was his son, and that they were not willing to apostatize for any reason. The Turkish general threatened them with the most cruel tortures, and some began to falter. Seeing this, Antony shouted to them, We have already fought for the city and for life. Now we must fight for our souls and for Jesus Christ. As he died for us, so must we die for him. These words restored courage to the weak, and the Turkish general gave the order for all to be beheaded. Blessed Anthony was the first to die. It is said that his decapitated body remained standing until the execution of the whole group was finished, as if to give courage to his companions. The place where the execution took place is still called the Valley of the Martyrs. The bodies of the Christians remained unburied during the 12 months that the Turks occupied the region. The cult of these martyrs was confirmed in 1771. 